Hey guys, it's Candace with Two Feb, and I'm here with Corey Hardrick, the star of American Sniper. Thank Hello. you so much for thank coming you. in, Corey. Thank you, thank you for having me. Of course. American Sniper, yes. this amazing movie. It yes. uh, stars Bradley Cooper, who plays real life Navy SEAL, Chris Kyle. Yeah. So his character's real, so we want to know is your character D, is he real too? Yes, he's, he's real. <laughs> he's real, and uh, he's overseas. Um, last time I spoke with him, he was over there uh, on another tour. And it's crazy when you play a real guy because you want to make sure that you do right by him, you know, because he's going to see the movie. But it was intimidating over the phone, I tell you. I couldn't mess this role up because I said, if I do and I run to him in the street, it's going to be problems. <laughs> but well, I'm um, sure you did him proud. No, yeah, he was very happy. I already saw the movie and he was excited. Aww. He was happy, you know, he said, I did well. So it's good to hear, yeah. That's great to hear. So you talked to him, but how else did you prep for the role? Anything kind of um, crazy you had to do? To yeah, I watched a lot of different movies, like a lot of different war movies, like um, Save It Private Ryan, The Hurt Locker, uh, Black Hawk Down, and then I read the book, the American Sniper book, just to kind of get Chris and who he was and what kind of person, and uh, just and, and how to go about, you know, the approach of playing a real life character, because this is a, a special, um, project, you know, that's it's going to be close to people, you know, it's family and friends, so I just wanted to make sure I did it justice, so. Clint Eastwood yes. directed, yes. and this is your second movie with him, you did the great Grand Clint Torino, mm -hmm. yeah. so how was it working with him again? Oh man, it's, it's, a, it's a dream come true, and then for both of these films to come out and be his two top grossing films of all time is very special, and for me to be a part of it, and he selected my tape, you know, getting that experience, just working with a director like Clint Eastwood, and just a person, you know, it's just a dream. It's a dream come true, so. The film has had a little bit of controversy, right. and I just want to know your opinion on that, your take on it. I stay controversy free, and I just focus on the positive, you know. In all films, you're going to get some form of controversy, and I feel like maybe because it's doing so well, and it, it resonated with the world, it made a lot of money, you know. Uh, Maybe people can start judging or talking about, oh, this film is not that old, you know, and then, but that's, you're gonna have that, and it's okay. At the same time, you know, don't take away from what, you know, this guy's life, you know, um, what soldiers and military uh, vets and everyone goes through when they're away from their family, that's what it's about. And it's a great movie. Yes, it's nominated. Um, Six for nominations, an yes. Yes, and then Best Picture. Yeah. How does it feel to just have all of these nominations and be a part of that project? Man, it's, it's a surreal feeling. Like, really, it's just um, very blessed and thankful to know that I've been doing this almost 20 years and for, for me to be right here, you know, and it feels like I haven't even got started yet, you know, so I'm very thankful just to be in a good company with these amazing, you know, filmmakers, producers, and, and, and talents. So, yeah, I gotta pinch myself every day. We know that you have a new movie coming out yes. in April called yeah. Brotherly Love. Yes. Tell us a little bit more about that and your character. And It's a movie that we shot in West Philadelphia. Uh, you're from Philly, right? Yes, yeah. I am from Philly. So Very hopefully familiar. we'll make you proud, but um, yes. you know, it's based <laughs> on um, a story about a family who, uh, I'm the older brother and I have a, a family I have to support and take care of. It uh, stars myself, uh, Kiki Palmer, Eric Hill, Macy Gray. It's a good family-based story. And it's a real gritty drama, you know, that you will really appreciate now. They're not making movies like that no more, so. You're a family man yeah. in this movie, and you're a family man also in real life yes. as well. Yes. Um, and we actually just spoke to Tia not very long ago about yeah. your son and about maybe him one day being in the business. Oh, man. What do you think about all that? Or are you I'll support too my soon? son. Yeah, it's too soon, but you know, if he has that natural gift, you know, and it kind of happens organically, I'll push my son in the direction that he wants to go in. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you very and much. And we can't wait to see this movie, <laughs> Brotherly Love, in yes. April. Yes. We're really excited to can't see it. Can't wait for you to see it either. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Thank, Thank you. you so Thank much. you.